Submit her and welcome Nikki. Good morning, Mayor and Councillors. Thank you for your time this morning. The short version is that we do not support a rates rise that is three times the rate of inflation. The rate increase is far too high. At a time when businesses and households are working hard to balance their budgets and exist within their means, our view is that the Council needs to do likewise. It is not just the percentage increase that the Council should consider. It needs to take into account the rates charged by other local authorities. And in every example I looked at yesterday, the Christchurch City Council rates were more expensive than the rates for similar properties in other local authority areas. For example, I compared the 23-24 rates for a medium-scale commercial property on Colombo Street in the central city with a similar value commercial property on Queen Street in Auckland. The rates for the Colombo Street property were 11% higher per million dollars of capital value. I also compared the 23-24 rates for similarly valued residential properties in Rolleston and Burwood. The rates for the Burwood property were 9% higher per $100,000 of capital value than the rates for the property located in Rolleston. In hard money, the rates for the Burwood home in Christchurch were $500 more a year than the rates for the similar property in Rolleston. I also compared the 23-24 rates for similarly valued industrial properties in Rolleston and Christchurch City. The rates for the Christchurch City industrial property were five times higher per million dollars of capital value than the rate for the property located in Rolleston. These examples are all real examples and sobering figures showing that Christchurch City Council rates are more expensive than rates for similar properties in other local authority areas. The Council needs to be very aware of the cost of rates on its residents, ratepayers and businesses and show responsible financial management and ensure the rates rise is a lot less than the proposed rates rise. The impact on ratepayers, businesses and consumers from the rates rise is very real. The rates rise contributes to increased costs in a cost of living crisis and also adds stress to businesses in very, very tough economic environments. There are a number of factors that we consider the Council needs to consider carefully. First, the Council needs to review its functions and evaluate whether they are necessary or add value for ratepayers. Secondly, Council needs to consider affordability as well as levels of service. I understand that ratepayers have indicated that they don't want service reductions. However, if the questions about service levels were framed in an affordability context, I expect the answers would be very different. Just by way of example, I noticed that the Sumner Library was open on Easter Sunday. This was ludicrous. It was a day in which retail stores and commercial businesses were closed, and I certainly didn't expect the library to be open. One area we do support additional bid funding is for major events. There is a clear return on investment, and it doesn't make sense not to invest in attracting events to Christchurch given the commitment shown by the Crown, by the Council and by local private investors to the rebuild of Christchurch. We have certainly invested because we believe in Christchurch and we want to see the city as a vibrant and thriving place. Major events bring people to our city and provide employment opportunities and a valuable profile for Christchurch. We are supportive of the Council's proposal not to provide operational funding for the Arts Centre Trust. We feel that it is not appropriate for our tenants to be subsidising the operational costs of the Arts Centre. It may be appropriate for the Trust or the Council to find more sustainable management model. 
our key message is that we would like the council to reconsider the rates rise and consider its functions and affordability for ratepayers in an environment when all households and businesses are carefully considering their budget, the council needs to do likewise. An approach of simply passing on a substantial increase to ratepayers is not appropriate. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect timing. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Okay.